In this lecture, we're going to be setting up um, vCenter and uh, VMware, ESXi um, 6.7. So we're at VMware, vmware.com, so we can actually download software. So after you log in, first first get an account, create an account, they're, they're free, right? And then go to products, and then uh, we're going to log in, we're going to get um, vSphere, vSphere or is it let's see yeah vSphere right actually it's vSphere with operation management click on that one once you're here scroll down a little bit until you see um, free vSphere trial so click on that from here create an account so you're going to create a free account after you've logged in click on my value or list my evaluations then click on that download trial so here's the ones that you want to download. You want to first download the vSphere or VMware vSphere hypervisor. That um, That's the ESXi host. You want to manually download that. You scroll down a little bit more and um, you can download the either the VMware vCenter appliance for Linux and for Windows. Um, you click on download on the left hand side, downloads. Then you go over to all download drivers and tools and click on open source. Then click on the VMware vSphere and operations management. Once here, click on product downloads and you'll see the, the, the hypervisor and the VMware vCenter 6.7.0. Let's click on that one. So let's click on the VMware vCenter server 6.0. 7.0d click on uh, go to downloads and from here you can choose your different versions we're going to click uh, 6.7.0 actually and scroll down a little bit until you see the vmware vcenter server and modules for windows so download that one that's an iso file it's 2.2 gig roughly if you like this video and you want to see more, please jump on to my course, which is, I have two courses. One is at getajobnit.teachable.com, and the other course is on Udemy. It's Learn Backup and Restore with Commvault, Get a High Paying Job. You can also subscribe to my YouTube channel. Just type in Gary McNeely or Commvault Whisperer. There's some good content there related to this. If you would, could you click on the subscribe button and click on notifications? Thank you very much.